Hi, I'm Dr. Singhania from Singhania Clinic and I'm going to talk about how to manage and treat obsessive compulsive disorders in children. OCD is a neurobehavioral anxiety disorder. It's a glitch in the brain where an irrational fear or doubt or thought keeps occurring and causing significant distress in your child. And to reduce this distress and upset, the child performs rituals or compulsions. The first step in treatment of this condition is to understand the medical nature of this problem. It's a glitch in the brain, it's a genetic disorder and to understand this it's important. So avoid berating and scolding the child. Complete diagnosis is important before we start treatment. So when we are looking at the child, we not only look at the child's age and birth history and family history but also the extent and severity of symptoms. What are his obsessions? What are the compulsions? and how significantly they affect his academic or school life, his social life and even his day-to-day living. And it's important to chart these because when we start the treatment, it depends upon this whole chart. We also need to look at the comorbid conditions like ADHD, bipolar, tics and Tourette's. The treatment is twofold. One is, of course, medications which were given in children of eight years and above. The most commonly used is the SSRI or serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Fluoxetine has been approved by FDA for the use in children. And certainly this helps the chemical nature because we know that serotonin is affected in the circuits of the brain. So giving medication helps. But medication is not enough. We need to give the child tools to face the sessions. So the CBT or cognitive behavior therapy has been well researched and is known to be very effective in these kids. The first step is to name the OCD. So the OCD is externalized that this is the bully which is causing the problem and it's not me, it's not I who am causing the problem. And then they are taught to talk back and take over control. So take the control from that glitch in the brain or the OCD bully back to themselves. The other important thing is the exposure and response prevention technique, which is also known as the ERP. And the child is, after identifying the obsessions, the child is in gradual doses exposed to these and taught to relax. So it's a very great and gradual program, which requires a lot of support from the parents and family and school and ERPs are performed repeatedly to increase the ability to react to that stress in the way they did before. So practice is very important to prevent relapses and other forms of relaxation therapies are also taught, identifying emotions, expressing their emotions, learning to relax and these are some of the key points for parents. It's important again because the child is not doing it because he wants to, he just can't help it. So it's important not to advise or lecture your kids. Help your child become the cheerleader. And remember, it's a long process. So the practice at home is very important. If you're seeking help, please visit our website www.singhanyaclinic.com or call us on the number shown below. Thank you for watching.